Okay, so we're going to label the conjugate acid-base pairs for these four reactions. We're also going to label the stronger and weaker acids and bases. Um, we should remember this is going to be according to the Bronsted-Lowry theory, which expands on the Arrhenius theory. So acids donate hydrogen ions, which is also known as a proton, bases accept a proton, which again is a hydrogen ion, a hydrogen that's lost its electron. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, finish up this reaction. So the H is going to give, I'm sorry, the acetic acid is going to give an H, donate an H to H2O. So we're going to end up with H3O, the hydronium ion, plus what we call the common ion with acetic acid, acetate. Now, um, we would have some spectator ions in here, perhaps, but right now that is um, the way it would be. So um, we're going to label the pairs. So obviously um, this is going to be an acid and we're going to have to pair it with a base. And the base that forms from acetic acid is acetate. We're going to call this acid 1 and then this will be base 1. So the first acid is always acid 1 and then the base that goes with it on the opposite side is going to be base 1. Okay, noticing this. Noticing that hydronium is an acid, this is going to be acid 2, and uh, water is, in this case is going to be base 2. Okay, uh, water could go either way, but in this case it's going to accept the hydrogen from acetic acid. Okay, so now we need to label the stronger acid and stronger base, etc. So uh, we're always going to start with the one thing that we know. And um, you are required to memorize six strong acids. And number seven, the seventh of, on that list is hydronium. Uh, since this is not considered a strong acid, it's a weak acid, the dividing line between strong and weak acids is hydronium. So hydronium then gets labeled as the stronger acid. That means that acetic acid is the weaker acid. And we also need to know that the stronger acid is on the same side as the stronger base. Notice we didn't say strong acid and strong base. It's just relative to each other in this particular reaction. This would be, water would be my weaker base. In other words, it is weaker than acetate. Okay, so which side would be favored? It would be the left. The reason why is because acid-base reactions always favor the formation of the weaker acid and weaker base. So, um, even though we're at equilibrium, this side there would be a greater concentration because it's a weak, weaker acid and weaker base. Okay, now going to ammonium, you will notice that ammonium has an extra hydrogen. So ammonium is going to give a hydrogen to water and form hydronium, which we know is an acid, plus NH3. Okay, and we're gonna we're leaving the states off of these just for simplification, but states are important. All right, so um, here we are again. We know that water and hydronium are gonna go together. We know that ammonium produces ammonia. So this is gonna be my acid, the first acid. This is gonna be base one. Remember acid 1 and base 1 go together and they're on opposite sides. In this case then water is going to be base 2 
and it accepts a hydrogen and it forms acid too. So water is forming hydronium. Okay, so which is going to be stronger? Well, again, hydronium is what we might want to say is the strongest acid of the weakest acid. So this one's going to be stronger. And um, ammonia is going to be my stronger base, meaning that it is stronger than water as my base. So this is going to be my weaker base. And this is going to be my weaker acid. Now there might be a situation where ammonium is the stronger acid, but not in this case. So which side is favored? Again, it'll be the left side that is favored. All right, let's take a look at this next reaction. This one, um, we already know from our Henius theory that sulfuric acid is a strong acid and hydroxide is a strong base. So this one might be a little easier. We know we're going to produce water plus uh, HSO4 minus. So we're just going to get rid of that first hydrogen. We would do it one at a time. And so um, hydroxide goes to water and sulfuric acid produces the bisulfate ion. Okay, so um, obviously this is going to be acid 1 and you should recognize that this would be, since it's a strong acid, it is definitely going to be my stronger acid. Um, this uh, bisulfate over here is going to be base 1. Remember A1 and B1 go together. Hydroxide, you should recognize that as a base, no question about that. That's going to be base 2. And then H2O, uh, you can see in this case uh, right here, because um, hydroxide accepted the hydrogen, it formed water, and in this case, water is acting like an acid, so it is acid too. And this is my stronger base. This is going to be my weaker acid, water. So again, water is amphiprotic. It can be an acid or a base. So we see up here it's a base, and here it's an acid. And then HSO4 is another thing. It has another H to give away, but in this case, it's a base. We know it's a base because it came from an acid. That's how we know it's acting like a base here. Okay, and so this would be my weaker base. And which side would be favored? Well, the right side would be favored. And it would almost be 100% because we've got a strong acid here. All right, the last one. Let's look at HCl plus F minus. Again, this is a net ionic equation just like this one. We're missing a spectator ion like sodium. We're not going to show that because it would just kind of get in the way here. So we're going to get HF. You can see that the H is going to go with the F plus... Cl minus. All right, so let's kind of diagram this out. You can see that HCl produces Cl. It should be obvious to you that this is my stronger acid. You've known that from the beginning. We'll call him A1. A1 always produces base 1. And so the stronger the acid, the weaker the base it forms. So that's going to be my weaker base. We should also see we got HF here. That's obviously an acid. It's going to be my weaker acid. That should be obvious because HF is a weaker acid than HCl. We're going to label him in just a second. And so F minus here is going to be my stronger base. And that might not be so obvious. So we're going to label HF acid 2 
Acid 2 is always formed when base 2 accepts a proton, which is what happened here. Okay, so the favored side is going to be the right side. Because the favored side is always the weaker side, and HCl is a strong acid, it's going to give all its hydrogen to HF.